actually put this um, spool pin there if you prefer putting your thread on this part so this is the spool pin this is the balance wheel and this is the machine handle then from this side we can see this um, metal part with uh, that can move actually move up and down that one is the machine stitch regulator so with this regulator you can either um, it will help you to either move the machine forward or backwards so if you want backwards you go up and if you want to move forward you come down but then in coming down there are small small numbers here that is actually going to teach you the length of stitch that you want so if you want bigger length Put it at where you are going to get bigger length but then when you make it end down you make it end down like this that one is for goddess and then we do not use goddess in sewing so if you want goddess you have to put this whole thing down but then if you want normal stitch it is between eight and seven or ten for normal stitches and then when you want to secure your seam or the stitch that you do go up to secure it and then you come back to where it was whilst you were stitching so this is the stitch length regulator and then this right here there's a small hole here that is the thread guide so when you put your thread here you are going to take it through the thread guide so this is the thread guide and then this is the presser foot this is the presser foot so if you want to take your fabric out of the under the machine you are going to lift the presser foot it will lift the foot up and the way you are going to sew after putting your piece of fabric down here you are going to press down the presser foot to hold the fabric in position so this is the presser foot and this right here is the tension i also call it the heart of the machine because if the tension is not placed or fixed well you are not going to get a neater and a cleaner stitch so this is the machine that the tension the heart of the machine and this is called the take up lever this is called the take up lever it's also whilst you move your balance wheel it moves up and down up and down whilst this moves up and down so this and this and the balance wheel is connected together and then there's another thread guide over here it's a small loop where you also thread your needle before it gets your your thread sorry where you thread your you put your thread and then comes down to where the needle is and then there's a little small accessories over here it is called the needle clamp 
we use the needle clamp to fix the needle in position. So when you put the needle clamp inside, you put your needle and then you tighten it to hold the needle in position. And then this right here is the machine foot. It is also an accessory, so you can actually take the machine foot off. You can take it off and then insert another foot, depending on what you are doing. But this is the normal foot for everyday stitch. And then when you want to wind your bobbin, we have a bobbin winder here. This is for winding our bobbin. It is called bobbin winder. So this is bobbin winder for winding uh, thread around the bobbin. And the bobbin is located under the machine. So it's like the womb. <laughs> the womb of the machine. So the tension is the heart and then the bobbin, where the bobbin is located is the womb of the machine. So we have just like any normal female. We have heart and then we have womb. So this is the bobbin. This is called the bobbin. So you wind your thread around the bobbin. If you want to wind thread, you wind your thread around the bobbin winder. Then you put it inside the bobbin case. Sometimes I hear people call this shuttle. This is not shuttle. This is bobbin and this is the bobbin case. The shuttle is located down here. When we lift our machine, This part is what I'm calling the womb of the machine. And then the shuttle is located here. This is the shuttle. It houses the bobbin case. So this is called the shuttle, not this one. This is the shuttle. It houses the bobbin and then the bobbin case. And then it's re -fix it. you can fix it back. You really have to know your machine so that you wouldn't be calling repairs all the time. So I have locked it. And then I'm inserting my bobbin case into the shuttle. So down here we have the shuttle, we have bobbin case. And then we have bobbin down here. And then where we open and then close, it's called the side plate. So when you want to remove your bobbin case, you don't lift the machine. You just slide the slide plate and then bring it out. There's a small something here that you can in bringing it out so if you want to insert to it, the same procedure then you lock it up there when you are inserting it make sure you hear that cat sound when you hear that cat sound that means you have fixed it well but if you don't hear the cat sound that means you haven't fixed it well so these are the parts of the machine so for a complete machine normal machine you have to have the handle this is the handle and this is the balance wheel a spool pin a stitch regulator it controls the length of the stitch and then we have the heart of the machine which is called the tension the tension plays a major role in having a cleaner and a flatter stitch and this right here the back of it is the presser foot. It holds our fabric in position. Then under the foot of the machine, we can actually see some zigzag metal. It is called the, the teeth of the machine. It is called the teeth. It helps to move the fabric either forward or backwards. And then we have our bobbin and bobbin case down there, including the shuttle.
So in case you are going to buy any of these uh, this things, I hope you'll be able to mention the right names. Not forgetting the needle clamp too. The needle clamps help to put our needle in position. So this are the various parts we have on a regular sewing machine. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you. Oh.